Yeah, yeah, they only speak with their hands. The communication of the drums replaced by the scratch, the ill techniques, the soul controller. While other music used instruments, we used other music. Enhanced it, like turning water into wine. Remember who saved your life last night? It was the DJ, touching up on the ones and twos. And the mix in between, gotta know what I mean. Never scared to just bless you one. The soundtrack to the streets, soundtrack to your soul. <laughs> Get up. Come up. of MTV's Hip Hop Week. My name is Zed Love, the freestyler, let me speak. Today is the day, what more can I say that we dedicate to the DJ. Now don't forget, well let me see. Rest in peace to B.I.G. You will never be forgotten, not in my heart, but it's DJ day. So listen to a start, the turntable mix up from side to side, the glide, the glide, the hip hop, the freestyle ride. Me and Lover with scribbles and Sleeky, gonna do our thing, thing, word up. Yo, Scribbles, what's up, baby? Day two of Hip Hop Week. Y'all know how we get down. All right, Scribbles, how you feel? We doing a whole day dedicated to what you do, dog. Is it a beautiful I'm thing? It's a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful thing. Right now, let's go outside to Ananda and see what she got yeah. going on out in the street. All right? Man, Ed, it's all kind of people. First of all, listen to the crowd. They out here ready to get busy. Of course, Stretch Armstrong joining me on the one and twos again today. We got some drummers from the hit uh, off-Broadway show, Keep Hanging Stretch. Tell me this. You have not only the ability to DJ in clubs, but technology has made a difference in DJing, too. What, what about your show online? Tell us a little quick about it. Well, right now we got Hip, Hip Hop Week, MTV Online. You can see on the uh, on the van right here, um, a lot of things going down. There's a loud uh, uh, MC contest as well. My radio show, we just did one with uh, Eminem. And uh, look for more stuff uh, with Nas, Nori, Mom Deep, and a bunch of stuff on uh, MTV.com. Thank you. you you've been uh, doing this since you were like 13, right? A little older than that. Long time. Let's see what everybody else up there who got DJ skills sitting there with Ed. Ed, back to you. Let's get this contest going. All right, thanks, Ananda. Right here, it's going great. I'm excited for the battle we're going to have here soon, not to mention the two very special guests that we'll have here shortly. But right now, a little history lesson on the DJ. Check it out. Being a good DJ is like being a Pied Piper. If you play the right tunes, the crowd will follow. Well, the DJ is like the, the, the band leader. He sets the tempo, he sets, he sets the pace. The DJ, he owns the records, he owns the speakers, he owns the mixer, he owns the microphone, he owns everything. And all the, 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 the rap had to do was just come in, pick the mic up, and just do whatever he had to do. Cause I'm on the mic and Eric B is on the cut. Dan Bottle was known for all the different type of records. He had different type of sounds, for the, the break beats that nobody else had. Flash, he had certain records too that he was known for, but the way he was cutting, he was quick on the cutting back and forth. Grand Wizard Theodore, he like emulated scratching. That was the first DJ to start scratching and shit, you know. Just start flipping the script with the with the with the records. It's an art, but it's become more like uh, um, like like athletic. The first person to scratch the square was in Theodore, so it came from a person back then, I guess, you know, in the '70s, rubbing to you know, Rock Raider turning it into an orchestra. Well, I consider myself a turntable. A DJ is a person that would be in a club, spinning the music, knowing what to play at what time. And a turntable is more of a show, you know? What we care about is amazing the crowd. There's a lot of DJs that like to play for the audience as a turntable is, you know, cutting it up, showing the skills. You have the party rocking DJs. You have all different types. In the last two years, it's starting to kind of unify a little bit. It's definitely coming into one pot, which is kind of getting it back to Grandmaster Flash, Grand Wizard Theodore, Africa Band Blotter. Um, they rocked the party all night. The MCs got on in a 20-minute set, and you did your thing, and you went back to rocking the party. Take this one here for me and my DJ. All right, how cool is that? Okay.
Okay, right now, our first guest DJ was just a part of that history package you saw doing his Jimmy Hendrix behind the back. Fade a bit. He was the first great turntable artist in hip hop history. His 1981 classic Adventures on the Wizard still made him the Muhammad Ali and Picasso of DJs, and he's still one of hip hop's all time greatest and most influential artists. The one, the only Grandmaster Flash! Ha <laughs> ha! What up, Flash? What's going on, baby? What's up? 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 People heard the cut. I had to invent that. And then I figured out a way to take a passage of music and repeat it over and over again, which a lot of people thought was kind of idiotic at the time. All right, so. well, since you did that, how do you feel about the current state of DJing today? I think it's great. I think that it's just beautiful. I'm glad to be here, man. Well, let's see you do your thing. Y'all uh -huh. give it up for Grandmaster Flash! I'll be being a shooter song. I'll be being a shooter song. I'll be we gonna shoot the sauce, baby. Please put it all around and some see one. I'll be we gonna shoot the sauce, baby. Please put it all around and some see one. We saw Run yesterday, and now here's the man behind it on the wheels of steel, Jam Master J. What up, J, baby? How's it crew? Jay, let's talk about how it all began for you. How'd you hook up with Run DMC? Well, we was just, um, I was just DJing out in the um, park, you know what I'm saying, right? Had Russell Simmons was his brother. He said he's putting a group together. He said, yo, Jay, I want you to be the DJ. I was just the DJ for Hollis Queens representing, you know what I mean? Now, how did, what do you think of the current state of DJs? What do you think of all the Flash DJs? Man, stuff? before I get to that, man, I'd like to give a big shout out to my man, Grandmaster Flash, right there. <laughs> Grandmaster Flash, Africa Bambada, um, Theodore, my man, Davey D, all those guys, um, they was my idols back in the day, and I just um, love what they were doing. And um, right now, today, today, like I think about the guys like Scribbles and um, DJ Scratch and um, you know, um, LS1, a whole lot of hot DJs I know right now. It's all about, you know, just going crazy on these well, right now. let you do what you do, what made Jam Master J famous. Jam Master J, baby. Jam Master J, everybody. All right. We didn't say we see how Nanda's doing out there. Nanda, how's it going? We're loving hearing Jam Master J on the ones to do again. How exciting is that? Well, no DJing really even matters if people aren't feeling it. So I want to talk to the young lady right here. How you doing? Tell me your name and where you're from. Moja from Chicago. From Chicago. What's your favorite part about when you go in a club and what the DJ's spinning? Uh, the music, the beats, how they chicka chicka chicka, that kind of stuff. Day, day two of Hip Hop Week. We got DJs cutting it up, people dancing outside. 
Grandmaster Flash, Jam Master J. J. How much practice does it take to be a great DJ? How much practice do you do, brother? Man, I don't really practice that much, you know what I'm saying? Back in the days, I used to practice, wake up in the morning in my drawers and just do my thing in front of the ones and twos, you know what I'm saying? Right now, my shows are my practice, you know what I'm saying? Jay, uh, I don't need to hear about your drawers, Jay. Thanks, thank, thanks. You know you want to know. I appreciate it. We got right. GMF Grandmaster Flash on the wheels of steel. And also, across the way, we got DJ Scribbles and Slinky. That's me. Four turntables, Four turntables. What are you going to do with four turntables? Is this so both of us can get busy at the same time? So both of y'all get busy at the same time no on four turntables. That's right. You know what, Scribbles? I want to see it. Do y'all want to see that? Do your thing, partner. DJ Scribbles and Slinky, all right? DJ Slinky tearing it up. We're getting ready to have our competition. We got three contestants who came from all over. And don't go anywhere, because when we come back and celebrate to them Hip Hop Week, we're going to have MTV's first ever Battle of the DJs live. So stick around. Hip Hop Week continues on MTV. Day on MTV's Hip Hop Week. DJ Battles began well over 20 years ago. An organized contest started in 1986. Regionals for the 1999 title are already underway, and you can find out more about it at the website dmcworld.com. But right now, right here, we're about to have MTV's very first Battle of the DJs. We got an expert panel of judges, Scribble, Flash, and Jam Master J. The contestants are going to be judged on creativity, technique, and presentation. They'll have one minute and 15 seconds to impress the judges, and that's my son, and they'll be using their own choice of music. Our first contestant with children from KMEL in San Francisco. Representing the original DJs, give it up for DJ Positively Red. Scribbles. What you think, Scribbles? It was cool. He had, 
I gotta say though, he had a little rough break because the sound wasn't all the way up. So, right. but he did his thing. He, he was did the, his with thing. the snap patterns, no doubt. All right, Definitely. no doubt about it. Contestant number two, ladies and gentlemen, from Power 96 in Miami. Now this kid is representing the Allies crew of who I heard of. All right, he gets down, back and forth, forth and back, round the back, all of that old good stuff. We need to put our hands together and give it up for him from the Allies crew in Miami. Miami in here, huh? All right, let's give it up for DJ Infamous. Give him love. Infamous Flash, what'd you I think, know. man? I think he was kind of fat. It was all that. It was all that. Definitely was all that. Yeah. You like that? Slow it down, speed it up, turn it around. That's kind of hot. Your Flash, can you do that? Can you do that, Flash? Can you do that off time? Uh, no, nah, not so much. Some other, 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 other stuff, but I could definitely keep it on time. For the best of that, baby. <laughs> all right. All right, Grandmaster Flash, definitely. Contestant number three comes to us from Jamming 94.5 in Boston. Anybody from Boston up in here? Oh, like five people. That's okay. All right, yo, let's give it up for him. His name is DJ Brad Form. Give him love, y'all. I think you know my man right there from the B town, you know what I'm saying? He was doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? He had a lot of things going on with him. He was hot, no doubt. No doubt. Ananda, how very cool is this whole thing jumping off out here today? What do you man, think? Man, and wait, can we get a, a shot of this? And you can just tell me how cool this is. How far back old school are we going with the trunk jewelry on my neck? What's talking about? Way by Daddy's Jewelry in honor of Hip Hop Week here on MTV. I got this 
Every stretch downstairs represents his MTV online show. The DJ battle is off the hook, yeah? I'm standing next to a young lady who just the energy every time it gets <laughs> big. You're like, ah! They're awesome. All, who'd you like best so far? Um, I don't know. Like, Brown Form was definitely ripping things up. He was awesome. He had skills going every which way. The whole crowd was into it. Everybody's been awesome. And his though. mouth, he was like doing it with the album. With the audience. Right? Oh, it was great. What about you? I heard you back here say you should smile while you're DJing. DJs don't smile. He was like, I'm, I'm just doing this. And he wasn't smiling, but it was great. Yeah! Yeah! He's a DJ, not a model. When, when you are uh, listening to these three DJs, what were you listening for? You seem to have a, a more refined ear. I was listening to blending of the beats and stuff like that. You know, I was feeling, I was feeling rare form on the ones and twos. Yeah, blending of the beats. I knew you had a good ear. All right, Ed, we are ready for the winner, and I'm bringing prizes out, baby. Back to you. All right. Yes, I'm is. I'm is ready. A little abonics for y'all. All right. Another. We're gonna find out right now who the judges pick. The winner is going to guest DJ on Total Request Live tomorrow, baby. T R L. The guest DJ who's gonna win the big prize is. <laughs> DJ Positively Red from San Francisco, representing the original DJ. Ha ha. All right, for you, my brother, we got a mixer courtesy of Techniques and the DMC, a gift certificate for $250 to one of the hottest spots to get vital in New York City, Rock and Soul, and you also get to come back tomorrow, the DJ on Total Request Live. What do you got to say, bro? Uh, big up to Cam, yeah. Thank y'all, MTV, everybody else. You know what I'm saying? It's cool to be up in here hanging out with Jam Master J and Grandmaster Flash. You know what I'm saying? And uh, everybody on the West Coast, what's up, y'all? That's all good, baby. All right. Remember, y'all, B.I.G. two years ago today on March 9th. Biggie, we love you. We'll never forget you. Thanks for watching. All right. Hip Hop Week on MTV. Peace out to all DJs all over worldwide. Grandmaster J and J, Slinky Scribbles, Ananda, doing her thing with the Trump jury. Eddie Mack, we out of here, man. Peace, MTV style. Hip Hop Week on MTV. Hip Hop Week on MTV. Hip Hop Week on MTV. Hip Hop Week on MTV.